Hi, and thanks for following the bite-sized beginner's guide to the HP Reverb G2. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to adjust your floor height boundary and also share with you some insightful tips and tricks so that after you've made the adjustment, you can carry on your gameplay without any issues with your controller bindings. A big welcome to VO Essentials. We talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and VR educational entertainment. If it's your first time here to the platform, very nice to meet you. And of course, a huge welcome back to all our regular subscribers Always thrilled to have you with us. So in the previous videos, we looked at how to customize your home, fix the black screen if you can't see anything inside of your VR headset, also set up the mic, the audio, and optimize the graphics to make sure you have a pleasant experience the first time that you launch your very first virtual reality app within the HP Reverb D2. But let's crank up the heat today because we're going to be launching our first virtual reality app together. And also I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks as to how to adjust the flow height of your boundary and make sure that you don't get disturbed in your gameplay after you've done that. Now, it doesn't matter where you'll be, whether you're inside of the Windows Mixed Reality Home or if you're inside in an app, it's the same way how to adjust your floor height. The first thing you need to do is click on the Windows logo button, either on your right or your left controller, and this will bring up, of course, your main navigation user interface. Now, point your controller and click with the trigger on where it says all apps on the right hand side of your main navigation panel. Now this will show all the various different apps that you can open using the Windows Mixed Reality software, whether it's been installed on the Mixed Reality software itself or on Steam or perhaps other places. And to scroll through the various different pages, all you have to do is point your controller towards the arrows that point up or down above where it says all apps on the right hand side. Now wait, before we proceed to the next step, if you've actually done this whilst you're inside a VR game that you're playing concurrently, make sure that you save your gameplay because the following step is gonna close your app automatically, especially if you've opened it via Steam VR. Once you're all good to go, the next step will be to go and find an app called Floor Adjustment. Once you see this on your main navigation page, just point with it with your controller and then click the trigger to open it up. As you're whisked away inside of the floor adjustment bubble world, it will automatically close any other apps as I just mentioned just now. Now the instructions inside are pretty self-explanatory. All you have to do is take your left controller and then with your thumbstick point towards the upwards direction or downwards direction to adjust your floor height to your liking. Now once you're comfortable with the floor height that you've chosen, just simply point one of your controllers towards the diamond and don't just wait for something to happen. What you actually need to do is click with the trigger to exit the floor adjustment bubble world. The second tip I'd like to share with you that you might find useful is make sure inside of your Mixed Reality Home you don't have more than one or two floor adjustment 3D icons. This is simply because after some testing when there are many of those inside of the Mixed Reality Home, I couldn't actually enter the floor adjustment bubble world. The other tip that you're gonna find very useful is in regards to bindings of controllers. Now, as I mentioned, do make sure you are part of the notification squad and hit the notification bell after you subscribe because I'm gonna go much more in detail about this in the next video. However, a tip that I can give you today is to make sure that if you had originally opened your app by pressing the play button on Steam on your computer, not to do that again after you've done the floor adjustment. This is because every time that you're going to close a VR experience by entering the Windows Mixed Reality Home software, there is gonna be a binding error between the Windows Home Mixed Reality software itself and Steam. So make sure if you want to continue your gameplay after you've adjusted your floor height to do it one of two ways. Either go to your task manager and the service of all the various different programs including Mixed Reality, Steam and Steam VR and then reopen Steam, Steam VR, then Mixed Reality will open up automatically and click the play button on Steam on your computer. Or the other way, if you don't have any issues, go back to Windows Home Mixed Reality software, click on the Windows logo button on your controller to open up your main navigation panel. Then go and find Steam VR. Once you found it, just point your controller towards it, click on the trigger and let yourself be teleported to the Steam VR home. And then choose the app that you want to open. In my case, it's Skyrim. It indicates correctly that I have to use the A button to pick up objects and not by forcing press the thumbstick and move towards the right direction. Now, of course, there's a variety of different applications which you can open directly 
from the Windows Mixready Home software that won't cause any issues. I will be uploading all my tests to the channel as time goes by, so as I mentioned before, I would highly advise to enable the notification bell after you subscribe. So let's both meet in the next video where I'm going to share with you some more tips about how to bind your controllers and change the binding, as well as which kind of apps you should open via the Windows Home Mixed Reality software and also via the Steam VR. All right, let's go.